Welcome back to a brand new PTCG live video. Today we'll be looking at Aegis Slash EX as well as the single prizer Aegis Slash from the brand new set Paradox Rift. So without further ado, let's get into the deck list. Let's take a look at some of the cards that we'll be running for this brand new deck. So the main strategy with, with this deck will be to stall out our opponent with Aegis Slash. Its mysterious shield ability will prevent your opponent's Pokemon EXs or Vs from being able to attack or damage Aegis Slash. It also does have a decent attack. It gets to do 120 damage just for two energies. So we are running three copies of this Aegis Slash as well as two copies of Dewblade and the four copies of Honage for that entire line. So we also will be pairing it up with the Aegis Slash EX. We might as well, if we're running the other Aegis Slash, we might as well run it with this one as well as since we can be able to evolve it up or rare candy it from one of our Honages. And it does pretty decent damage with Peerless Edge. You can do up to 350 damage if you have one prize card remaining. That's pretty good damage for one energy. And then for two energies, you can do 220 damage and 30 to yourself. And pretty decent HP as well. 330 HP is just about where you want the HP for stage two to be at. For the draw support, we are going to be, of course, running the 2-2 line of Bidoof and Bibarel, as well as Scovid, just to help us find those rare candies and those other cards that we might need, such as Arvin or the TM Evolution. And we also are running one copy of Pidgeot V, just to prevent us from decking out and losing to that. On to the trainer cards. Since we are going to be running a deck that I feel like will most more than likely be behind in prizes we will be using those types of cards in this deck we are running the one copy of counter catcher as well as two copies of defiance band as well as the four copies of reversal energies so all of these cards only work if you are behind in prizes and most likely we will be behind in prizes with this deck we also will be running some draw supports such as chorus experiment of course and iono and we will also run the TM Evolution. We definitely want to use this on our first turn when we go second. So we can at least evolve one Bidoof and one Honage to Dewblade and Bibarel on our first turn when we do go second. So I do really recommend to go second and to use this Evolution TM. That's what it's there for and to get a pretty good start. And then next turn you can obviously ev evolve the Dewblade and have that draw support. And finally, we are going to just run five Metal Energies. So those are all of the cards for this deck, and let us see how it does in the matches. Okay, looks like they chose Tails, so I get the feeling they definitely want to call the coin toss here. Ooh, we win the coin toss, so we definitely want to go second. Okay, let's start out with Honage here. Okay, looks like it's going to be Iron Hands. So this looks like there's going to be a Turbo Marion deck of some kind. I feel like also Iron Hands is not very ideal for the active. They must have gotten a pretty bad hand. Yeah, they did. They just passed doing nothing. Let's see. Let's get the battle VIP. Let's get Bidoof down. Let's get a Honage down. Is the TM in there? Two Arvids are in there. The TM is in there as well. I will use Iono here. It does kind of help them. I get the thing they had a pretty bad hand. Wow. Not a very good... Not a very good Iono here. Let's just go for the Reckless Charge.
Let's see, they heavy ball. They do find Raikou over there in the prize stack. They bench Raikou. Put them beach court, which really doesn't help them all too much. Hatch Lightning Energy Raikou, yet yeah, they use the Peony. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get Switch Cart and Generator. Because then they can just heal the 30 damage and then hopefully get just one Lightning Energy off that Generator. Oh, they get this ball. Maybe they get the Mew EX. Yes, they got the Mew EX. Yeah, and they even get two energies off the generator. So something tells me they're probably running a good amount of lightning energies in this deck. They get three cards. They get four seal stone as one of them, so they got really lucky with that three card draw. They're probably gonna search out a switch card, I think. It's the only logical thing they could really need. Oh, they got a uh, escape rope, actually. Huh. But you know, I'm gonna actually just give them the Bidoof. They can have it. We are running a 2-2 line, so it should be fine. I'd rather have the, the Age of Slash army here. And they knock a Bidoof. into Honage. And we have a Raihan. Let's go for the Chorus Experiment. Okay, we do get... Wow, we do get Hage Slash and Rare Candy, which is good. We'll just get the other chorus experiment. So unfortunately we don't have the energy to attack, we'll just have to pass. There's no way they can uh, knock out this Age of Slash, of course. It cannot be attacked by EXs or Vs, but they could rope us out into their pivot and then knock us out. But they already used the escape rope. I don't know how many... They already used up two escape ropes. I don't know how many escape ropes a deck like this is running. I want to say that they probably used up all two. They used Peony again. And I'm guessing they're probably getting more generators here. Yeah, they get the double gen for their iron hands, I'm guessing. They get one. They use it again. Did they get anything? Yeah, they it looks like they got yeah, they got another one. So they got one one each. I'm gonna use restart. Three cards. Let's see. I haven't, I haven't seen any single prizes here. I haven't even seen the Mareep. Let's just turn this card already. No, I don't see it. I bench another Mew EX from 151. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, 
And they just pass for how much they can do. Uh, let's use a Colorless Experiment again. Okay, we do get the two energies, which is really good. And... Huh. Guess maybe we can let go of one, I'm guessing. Yeah, because I do want to set up this age of slash as well. So now we can't we can't do any rub shenanigans here. Attach the fine spin. And let's just attack for 150 here. So we got two Aegis Slashes set up here. I think we're pretty good. We are running five energies in the deck, so I feel like letting go one to the Lost Zone is not too bad. We should have two more left. The Ultra Ball. Wow, they let go of the Flaffy, which was their single prizer that could have attacked. Ooh, they do get the Pogo Zapdos. They can definitely attack with that. They use Generator on it. They get one. So that's definitely something I want to use a Counter Catcher on. They use Restart. I doubt they'll be able to get the three energies for it. Retreating into Iron Hand, and they boss us into Scoven. Yeah, they're, so they're knocking that thing out. And they're gonna take the two prizes for it as well. So they're gonna have three prizes they take. I'm going to use the counter catcher on the Zapdos actually, because I feel like they probably don't have the super run. Mm. Let's use Iono here. They got five cards and they only have three prizes, so they're going to get their hand cut down the size. Attach the reversal, and let's just knock out Zapdos. First prize, gonna be Pidgey. I thought I'm gonna be um, <laughs> benching that. Maybe like as a last resort to decking out, but that's about it. I can't risk getting a boss. They already used up two bosses. They could have a third one. We bench him a Rhydon, a Raichu, and we're gonna switch out a Mew, okay. I'm gonna restart, oh yeah, and I just wanted to clear their hand. And they attach energy to Mew on the bench. Oh. They use Vacuum, they're probably gonna get rid of our Defiance Bane, of course.
Yeah, I doubt they have a super rod for getting back any of these single prizers. Let's see what they do. I feel like we're set up pretty good. We got double age of slash here. Can't do really anything. They're going to my ride on. Something maybe I should just get rid of that beach court now. I feel like they got just too much <laughs> switching out here. Let's just go for damage here. Because they already have what four, five, six, seven, eight energies attached. Ten and two and then discards. So they got ten in play already. Attach another one to some Mew EX. And they do have the beach core. These Peony. And if I'm gonna get maybe switch part here. Let's see, I'm gonna use the. Yeah, they already used up all their generators here. I'm not sure what they're gonna get. Get Celine and the power pad. So yeah, they're gonna get back their bosses here probably. That's what I'm assuming. And they got back Raihan and Peony. Kind of surprised they got back those two. I feel like they would have gotten at least one boss. Just to sort of prevent me from benching anything else. Let's see, let's see what they do. They go into a fresh Mew. And we do have a boss here. Uh, I feel like maybe we should just boss KO their Raikou here, maybe. I honestly thought they were going to pal pad back the two bosses' orders, I feel like. But I don't know why they did it. Reversal and a Nespel. Okay, well then they're gonna get one card back onto the top of their deck, I guess. Which card was? I was a boss. Yeah, let's say they're gonna Ultra Ball. It's probably was the Zapdos, maybe. Probably gonna Ultra Ball for the Pogo Zapdos then. No, I think Zapdos there. They got Lumineon. They restart. Yeah, I'm still wondering how they're gonna win this game. We are at even prizes here. And they just pass up. Hmm. I feel like they're probably going to drag this on quite a while here. Let's play Arvin. We do have the four seal stun in the deck. I don't know, let's just maybe get super run here.
I just want to burn one of those nest balls. Go for 120 here. I feel like we're pretty well set up here. I don't know what they got planned here. They got seven cards left in their deck. They're probably going to deck up before they figure out a way to win. Or concede. Uh, they use Peony again. And they got rid of all those cards. For two trainers. Yeah, it's super rad back. I'm guessing they're gonna get the Pogo Zapdos here. No, they got Lumineon for some reason and two lightning energies. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing here. All I know is that as soon as I knock out something, I can be I'll be able to get a boss with the four seal stone slash Pidgeot combo. And of course they go into this Mew. And they were able to attack us with the jail hacking here. And we got the one boss in there. Vanishing wings on them. Mm. Yeah, let's just knock out this meme here then. There's the rope. There is the rope. See, they use a tandem unit. Yeah, and they're gonna just knock us out. Here. Our seal stone. these three back. 
Let's use escape rope here. We're definitely going for the stall here. Find this mostly what this deck is built for. Let's get two blade here. Put a reversal on it. And I'm gonna go for the jam hacking again. I only have, what, one energy in a discard? Looks like they go into Iron Hands here for some reason. I'm not sure why they did that. And they just end up conceding. Damn, we lose coin toss. And they have us go first, which is kind of not ideal. Let's see. I'm going to be a lightning deck. Okay, we got a mulligan card. Ooh, that's a bad starting hand. Wow, we do get the battle VIP pass. We don't have the fart seal stone, fortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna get these two here. And so that's both for another honage. Attach energy to Honage. And let's pass. Wow, they use Peony here. I'm guessing they're gonna get a Battle VIP pass here as well as a generator, maybe. That's what I'm guessing they'll get. Because they're probably gonna want Squawk ability, yeah, and they're gonna get the generator and the pass. And then they can get probably Squawk ability and Maridon. 
Yep, that's exactly the ones they get. And they're probably gonna get, I don't know. I must say they're probably gonna get Raikou and Iron Hands. That's my guess. Because they want to attack probably this turn. Oh, they got Mareep and Raikou instead. Okay. They use Generator. Hopefully they fail it. <laughs> No, they get... Okay, they only get one. They squawk. They nest ball for... Mew EX. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, they're gonna knock us out of Raikou. They're gonna get the Fleet Footed as well. And then it goes. Okay, let's go into Honage. Hopefully we can get the um, rare candy. No, don't get it. Uh, Put Lost City out. It's Iono here. Yeah, we don't get the, the rare candy here. I'm just retreating to Manaphy here. Uh, Tied with the fine span, I guess. Speed Barrel. Guess we'll bench the other Bidoof. Pass. See, they're gonna use Generator again. Okay, they got two energies off of one to uh, ride on there. Of course, they're gonna rope out. Let's just get them a doof. They're going to Mew, of course. They're probably gonna retreat back into Raikou. He's Peony here. Okay. Probably gonna get two generators, I'm assuming. I already used up two. Yeah, they get a generator and ultra ball. They're probably gonna get Flaffy. They use generator, of course. They get one, okay. They restart. Um, yeah, the Ultra Ball, they get Flaffy, they're gonna be able to get more Lightning Energies out of this card, I'm assuming. Um, they go back into Raikou, and they just concede. Yeah, let's go for Tails here. Oh nice, we won the coin toss. Uh, let's go second though. See what kind of deck they have here. We do get a, uh, a mulligan. Would have been a really good hand if we didn't have the mulligan here. So we got the battle VIP pass and even two supporters. A nest ball, three energies. Let's see. Let's see what we get. I 
And it's a pretty decent hand here. We even got the four seal stone and the battle pass. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames. See, they get the Rotom V down. The Ultra Ball. I'm thinking for the Battle Pass, we're probably going to want to maybe find an Arvin, I believe. I mean, like, first we're actually going to get the Pidgeot V to use the Forest Seal Stone so we can get an Arvin. Because then we can get the TM Evolution, as well as an item card. They insta-charge. We had six cards in their hand now. Okay, let's bench the Bidoof. Okay, the Pidgeot is there. And... Mm. Let's say we just get another Honage here. And let's use the Forest Seal Stone. And let's get an Arvin. I'd say that's the play to make here. Get an Arvin. Because we definitely want that, uh, that Evolution team. Let's see if it's in the deck before we get Arvin. It is in the deck, so let's get Arvin. I feel like we'll just get another battle VIP pass as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, let's just get another battle VIP pass. And the technical machine. Then we can get the, um... Yeah, we can get another Bidoof. And a Scovid. And then let's go for the Evolution. And let's do the... The Beeperl and the Honage. I really was surprised. Oh, that was a pretty hefty turn one. Hopefully, uh, they don't have to charge start right away. Okay, so they just have Charmeleon. They bench a Charmander and they research. Which they actually had a Charizard in their hand. I don't know why they researched that away. I don't know. Seemed like a bad move. Oh wow, they just insta-charge again and do nothing. And so I don't really want to use this Age of Slash because it's just a two prize liability. I'm probably going to Scovid this hand away onto the bottom. Ooh, nice. We got the Chorus Experiment. Yeah, let's use that first, actually. Let's get the Metal Energy. We probably won't need Mana Field. Let's get the Fine Spin and the Iono. And let's attach the fine span, the metal energy. Let's use Beebrel. Hopefully, we get some major slash here. Okay, we'll just have to ultra ball away the Honage. And I guess I don't know.
Wow. I feel like we'll just retreat then. And end turn. They wear candy, they get Pidgeot. Oh, they boss us. I don't know what they're gonna boss. Probably the Honage, I'm guessing. It has energy. Yep. Of course, they're bossing that. We're probably gonna knock it out. And they even use Tool Jammer here. Attach the reversal. And do we want a nest ball for anything? I feel like there's not much to nest ball for. Mm. I think I'm just bossing that Charmeleon and knocking it out. I did forget to use Beeble though, unfortunately. It's okay. I feel like they're already down two bosses orders. They might have maybe one left and maybe a pal pad. And looks like they're gonna super run. I'm assuming they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna super ride the Charmeleon Trimander. And they're gonna quick search. Bench the other Trimander. And they just insta charge, okay. I'm um, thinking of just uh, ult uh, super riding back one of these Honages and the two, two energies. So now spell is get the Honage back onto the bench. We'll just attach the energy so we can attack. Let's use Scoven. Use the second Bieber roll. I'll probably use actually Iona here just because I can see they have a really big hand. Yeah, let's just attack now. Use Arvin. Let's 
So you're gonna get Forest Sail Stun and Ultra Ball. They still get the Charizard, even if that, I don't know. Mm, they put three, three fire energies onto Charming for some reason, I'm not sure why. Put four seals on Rodom. And they're gonna search their deck. I'm assuming they just have another Charizard there. No, they got Tremeleon. So they basically ran the risk of me boss KOing Tremeleon. Oh no, they wanted to attack the Tremeleon, I guess, yeah. Ultra Ball to Jirachi and Nest Ball just to get rid of it. And let's use Nut Sash. Okay, we get Arvin. Nice, we do get the double rare candy, so we can just get an ultra ball here to get the... Just to get the Age of Slash. Let's use B-Burl again. Switch. They go back into Pidgeot. The Tool Jammer is pretty annoying. Uh, I feel like we already lost both our Defiance Bangs. Yeah. So I'm gonna quick search again. See, do they have the pal pad? No, but they do have the third boss's orders here. Yeah, that was the third one. They're gonna knock out Pidgeot here. Yeah, they will knock it out. I think I'll just use the net nest stash. Hmm, some point I'm using counter catcher here. Let's just go for the 120 here. for instant charge. Oh. And I'll just go for 120 again. And 
Yeah, last turn they didn't even use Quick Search, but now they're using Quick Search for this turn. They might have just forgotten. But, uh, it looks like they have a fourth boss's orders or a pal pad. No, they use Nest Ball. I was still kind of surprised they got three boss. Yeah, and they just concede. Well, those were all the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.